what's up it's Alex and welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you guys can see I am going to be talking about the best drugstore products of 2016 I kind of wanted to do something different because in case you guys didn't know I am the drugstore queen I love drugstore makeup so much that I feel like people don't give them the credit that they deserve and I really don't like spending a lot of money on makeup but if I do spend a lot of money on makeup it would be drugstore products because I feel Feel like there are so many products out there that do the exact same thing or not do even better than high-end products so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the best drugstore products of 2016 some of these products didn't come out in 2016 but I discovered them in 2016 and I have been loving them and I have been obsessed with them I have everything that you definitely need for a full face so if you are interested in seeing the best beauty products drugstore version of 2016 then go ahead and stay tuned and keep on watching my first beauty favorite of 2016 would be this beauty sponge it is dirty right now because I just did my makeup so don't judge I literally just did it um, so that's why it's dirty this is the beauty sponge it is called the wonder blender from shop miss a and this is only a dollar guys I feel like this is a beautiful sponge it does everything that you need it to do I do not own the beauty blender I don't own the original version so I wouldn't be able to compare it I'm pretty sure it's awesome but this does the job I absolutely love it it blends in my foundations extremely well so I do use this for foundation and for concealer or even cream foundations it does an amazing amazing job once I got my hands on this I just cannot put it down I use this all the time every single day it is definitely worth it and for one dollar guys I think it's a steal like you definitely need this wonder blender and I will list it down below next product will be primers um, I really don't use a lot of primers I'm not a fan of using primers or anything like that but later Lately, I have been using them because I think I do kind of see a difference it's not like a magnificent difference but when I do use primers I feel like my foundation does stick to my skin a lot better but for this year my favorite primer was the wet and wild cover oil primer base I absolutely love it I know a lot of people don't like this because they say for dry skin it doesn't really moisturize the way you want it I absolutely love this primer so much it's kind of like just a cream based primer it's not silicone or anything it looks like lotion feels like lotion but once you put it on it literally just smooths your skin so nicely and it just gives it a very nice base so that you can put your foundation over it and it just feels really good to me it works I do have an oily oily t-zone and dry under eyes but I tend to only put primer wherever like my pores are like right here on my cheeks even my forehead and it does does do the job next will be foundations I am a drugstore foundation whore like I love 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 drugstore foundations and yes I said whore because I just love drugstore foundations um, I do have many many drugstore foundations that I absolutely love but for 2016 I only chose three foundations that I loved this year I definitely had to choose my l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation and the infallible pro glow foundation these foundations are like heaven i absolutely love these foundations so much my most favorite will be the matte one simply because i love a matte face i definitely love a matte face i get extremely oily throughout the day and this just does it for me it leaves your face so flawless it's amazing i absolutely love this i think i have like 10 of these in my foundation drawer that that's how much i love this foundation and then this is the l'oreal infallible pro glow if you kind of like an illuminating kind of finish a dewy finish this will be the perfect foundation for you but the formula is amazing the coverage is amazing the coverage on these two is amazing they're both 24 hour wear so I absolutely love these foundations so much what I do with this one since I am a matte kind of girl I mix this in with either this one or I mix it in with another foundation and it just gives me the perfect finish but I would say if you're looking for a nice full coverage foundation I will go with these two and my next favorite foundation would be the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation 
This foundation is amazing. I discovered this in 2016. It came out 2016 and I absolutely love this foundation so much guys. It is full coverage. It feels very nice on the skin. This is more like a satin finish. It's not like a very matte nor very dewy. So this is perfect if you like an in-between kind of finish on your face. I absolutely love it. It is a definite, definite must have foundation in your collection and it also has a pump. So now moving on to brow products my favorite this year was just elf products in general but this year I discovered their brow gel I believe this is called their brow cream I'm sorry and I have this in the shade espresso I absolutely love this brow cream so so much it's a dupe for the Anastasia dip brow. I believe the it's the exact same thing, but if I had to choose one, I would choose the e.l.f. one. Why? Because this is only like $3 and it's available in any drugstore. I feel like it just kind of revives my brows. It makes them a lot bolder than what I normally want, but whenever I'm doing a dramatic look, it's definitely perfect because it just gives my brows that extra umph that they definitely need. My other favorite will be the e.l.f. brow pencil and the one that I use, this is in neutral brown. This is what I use to do my brows today. I just love it so much. It is amazing and this is only, I believe, $2 at the drugstore as well. So if you're looking for brow products, definitely go to your drugstore and pick these up. For 2016, my favorite concealers were one, this one. This is the, Su the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. I use this every Every single day I'm talking about every single day I'm wearing it on today I already ran through like three bottles because I love it that much I just absolutely love it it's full coverage it's a very nice and thick formula it blends easily it's amazing and it highlights the under eye just perfectly I just love it I have it in the shade light medium and I feel like it's a perfect highlight shade another great concealer is I think these came out a long time ago but I have been using these in this past 2016 year I just love them so much and it's the LA girl pro concealers I know everybody raves about these everybody loves these products and I don't blame them because they are amazing amazing I think these are thicker than my Maybelline concealer it's very thick but definitely full coverage I do use these whenever I'm going to go out for like a lunch or something quick where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup. I literally just throw this on on all my problem areas and it just hides my scars without me actually putting on a full, full face of makeup. Like I just put this on, do, 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 blend it and that's it. The next products that I want to talk about are powders. I love face powder so much. I think I am a big face powder hoarder more than I am a foundation. I don't know. Maybe I'm the same way, but I love powders. And the powders for 2016 that I was obsessing over, one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I love these. I definitely have like five of these in my collection. I just... I just love these powders so much. I love this because it does give you extra coverage. It's very lightweight. It doesn't make your kind of foundation look cakey whenever you add this. And it makes your face so matte. I love this. I do blot with this throughout the day because, like I said, I have an oily T-zone. No matter what I do to it, it's never going to stay matte throughout the whole day. But this does help it. I literally only matte one time whenever I'm at work. Like, after lunch, I just matte and I stay like that, like, all day. And the other powder that I am obsessing over, I think this is my full, most favorite powder of all time. And this is the Physicians Formula Super BB Face Powder. I love this powder, guys. Love 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 and I have this in the shade medium deep um, I think there's only like three shades which is kind of weird because they don't make any more shades like I think I am the darkest shade of this powder yes I know physicians formula you got to do better every time I use this powder it gives me such a nice glow while it's giving me coverage it gives me coverage but then it leaves my skin like so satin, so doll-like, so flawless. Like it smooths it out and it gives it just a tiny bit of like glow to it. It has like some type of an illuminator inside. I don't know what it is, but it just looks amazing, guys. If you have not tried this powder, you have to go to your local drugstore and go pick you up one of these because I'm telling you, this is just a powder that I live for. I definitely love it. I use this powder more whenever I'm going to go out somewhere. 
So this is like my nighttime powder and this is like my daytime powder, but they're both amazing. Okay guys, so as far as contour and bronzer, what came out this past 2016 was this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I have this in the shade Caramel Toffee. I love this so much. This is my third packaging that I've gone through. Guys, I just love this so much. Like the shades, you have what you need. I have a highlighting banana shade here and then you have your contouring shade here. I definitely do contour with this and I highlight under my eyes with this this just gives it a very nice yellow kind of undertone to my under eye which I am obsessed with I love it this is like the perfect banana shade color for me and then it just has a very nice cool tone contour shade which I love I'm actually using it right now and I just love it so much because I feel for my skin color it's perfect they do have other shades so this is not the only one that they sell I they have like many other shades so if you're a darker or if you're lighter they do have something for you out there and then my other little palette for 2016 is this elf blush palette I think this is in the shade dark it doesn't have the name but I will list it down there for you guys and it's just this little palette here I use this every single day I definitely did use this today I used this darker shade just to kind of bronze up my face as well I love it and then it has a different blush shade and my favorite blush is the one right next to it it's just a very nice pinky blush and the other two are blushes and they do have shimmer in it so if you're like a shimmer type of girl you can definitely throw that on but I believe this is a must have in your collection because it has every single shade you need again if you are not my skin tone there is other ones I think they have like the light version the medium version and the dark I have the dark one but this is this is beautiful so my favorite mascara that I discovered in 2016 would probably be the Milani Lash Trifecta mascara and it is this little guy right here I love it. Mine's already old. It already dried up. So I am kind of mad at myself because I haven't picked up another one. But this is my all-time favorite mascara. The formula from the brush. Everything is amazing. I just definitely love it. It doesn't clump up your lashes. But it definitely does give them length. And then it just kind of makes them extremely dark. Like it just makes them so dark that even if you're standing like far away from me, I notice that you have mascara on because your lashes just kind of like they just pop it's just amazing my favorite eyeliner of all time is the wet and wild h2o proof liquid eyeliner and this baby is amazing this is a new one so this is the way the eyeliner looks it's just a very nice typical little tube but obviously this is the newer version but this is the best eyeliner formula that I have ever 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 tried guys ever since I started wearing makeup I have loved this eyeliner so so much so this eyeliner does have a matte finish it doesn't smudge at all it doesn't leave you those ugly wrinkly lines at the top of your eyeball or anything like that. next would be highlighters now this was very hard for me because I've never been a fan of highlighters and I've never really you know picked up a highlighter at the drugstore that was perfect for my skin tone but this past 2016 I did discover some highlighters that you definitely do need to go pick up um, so first I'm gonna talk about the wet and wild I'll have a Cosmo shimmer palette I think this is the best drugstore highlighter for my skin tone again I know there are tons of highlighters at the drugstore there are some wet and wild ones that are amazing but they just don't look good on my skin I'm actually wearing this one right now and it just gives me a very natural kind of glow it doesn't make me look like you know white it doesn't have like a white cast it doesn't make me like look like it's a dark streaking line and the other thing I love about this highlighter is that it doesn't show texture whenever I put it on my face it just kind of goes above my foundation and my powder it doesn't leave me no texture nothing this is beautiful guys if you are my skin tone I would definitely recommend this highlighter if you're darker or lighter there are different shades but this is just my favorite the next one will be the new color Giovi baked powder now this is an eyeshadow but this is an eyeshadow from shop miss a and this is only a dollar this is another favorite of mine because I use this as a highlight now this is just a regular baked eyeshadow but when you use this as a highlight guys it is extremely pigmented and it just feels amazing every time I wear this out I definitely get a lot of compliments I just love it even if you put it on your inner corner or on your nose 
it just looks amazing and the pigmentation is to die for like you probably can't see it but look at that isn't like just with one swipe look at the pigmentation that it gives you now we are on to our last lip products now i have been a sucker for lip glosses lately um in the beginning of 2016 i was not a fan of lip products and at the end of the year i started you know investing more into lip products and i started loving them a lot more but since i do go to work every single day my favorite lip products to use is just lip glosses so my favorite lip gloss of all time of 2016 is this catrice cosmetics volumizing lip booster you can find this at ulta it just makes my lips just look very juicy and it just makes them kind of just stay moisturized throughout the day so it's not only like a lip plumper it is also so so moisturizing on the lips and i absolutely love it and i love it because it has a very nice it has a very nice nude tint to it, which I definitely use this whenever I'm wearing lip products. I love throwing this on in the middle because it just makes your lips look a little bit bigger. Just a nice tip. But this has been my favorite lip gloss of 2016. My next one is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. These have been around for a while. I think in 2015 they came out, if I'm not mistaken. But for 2016, guys, I have been loving these lip creams so so much they're just beautiful i'm actually wearing one right now and the one that i'm wearing is abu dhabi they feel so nice on the lips they're kind of like a moussey texture but they dry matte the pigmentation is awesome the color range is amazing as well i have so many of them and i'm more like of a nude type of girl so i have like the pinks i have the nudes i have the browns i have it all like i love these so much guys i could wear these all day every day i throw these on in my purse so i know i always have one of these whenever i want color on my lips but i love these my favorite shades would be Abu Dhabi and stockholm so that is it for my best drugstore products of 2016 i really hope you guys enjoyed and i honestly believe in these products so much because i just feel like they are amazing products and i just wanted to do a drugstore version because i know there's a lot of young girls who watch my videos that you know we just don't have money to spend and i feel like drugstore products are so underrated so if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and click subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.